Professor Dr. Ansam Riyab Al Maruf from Tikrit University College of Education for Women uh, English Department. She will talk about the glorification and veil celebrating the holy household in the poem Abbas, commander of the Divine Army. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everybody. It's an honor for me today to be here for the second time. In fact, it's the third time to be here, but it is the second time to participate in this conference. I have participated in the first international uh, Imamate uh, Week conference. So uh, I choose a poem, which is well known for everybody, uh, I expect here, Abbas Qaid Jaysh al Ilahi. So it is a very important poem since we are in an age of postmodernism, an age of formula, an age of signs and numbers, as my dear colleague Prof. Haider uh, said before. So we need to uh, formulate. Uh, a new formula regarding uh, our identity, religious identity for our young people. In such an age of destruction of the identity of norms and, and values, we need to generalize a model that can be a real model for our young people, as well as a model that helps our old people to keep the belief in the religion. So I find, I found after uh, listening to the poem, Abbas, the commander of the divine army, that it is the best poem to be generalized for our young people. So I try my best to translate it first from Arabic to English then to analyze it. So the methodology I followed in writing my paper is the contextual analysis for the poem. So in fact, after writing more than 100 paper, I find that this is the best title to have glorification for Al Bayt by uh, presenting by uh, Al Abbas, who is the real model for uh, the young people to follow. So Abbas Qaid al-Jaysh al-Ilahi, Abbas Malifat Ghayr Antibahi is the best way to give or to express our admiration for Al-Abbas as the real Islamic religious identity that follow Al-Husayn, Imam Al-Husayn alayhi salam. So, in this age of postmodernism, we find that glorification as an act of elevating someone beyond the real uh, status to romanticize and mythologize the, this personality, I think it is the best way to present Al-Abbas salam. So since we are here in, uh, in the conference of uh, Al Abbas, uh, the Holy Abbas Shrine, we need to glorify this personality. Why? Because he has, uh, I think he still has the role of defending Islam by giving us the real model of Islamic identity. So uh, by presenting this uh, poem, which I think that it doesn't have uh, enough a study since it is written in uh, a colloquial language, not in Arabic language. So I think it needs to uh, be highlighted by someone. And I think it is our role as uh, educated people, as academic personalities to uh, give light, enough light to these uh, poems. Why? Because we have the role not only in uh, giving light to, uh, light to uh, academic works, but to give education to our young people. Why? Because this is our, uh, let's say, our, our mission as 
Muslim persons, not only as academic persons. So I myself uh, translated the poem and uh, analyzed the poem, and I can give you an uh, example of one example for one if I have enough time. Uh, just to, uh, to say how I have uh, analyzed the poem. The first part of the poem glorifies Abbas, the leader uh, of the divine army, using several poetic and rhetorical elements such as uh, epithets and honorifics. The leader of the divine army. This established Abbas' exalted position and divine mandate. The gentlest of God. This statement uh, emphasizes his closeness to the divine and his gentle, compassionate nature. Another point is, is uh, metaphorical language. What captivates me, unlike others, this suggests Abbas has a unique captivating equality, a light for the darkness he is for the tent. This paints Abbas as guiding, eliminating figure. O oh, moon in the sky, descended with compassionate dislikeness Abbas to moon, associated with the beauty, sincerity, and divine favor. Reverences and venerations is another point. Glory be to the one who is seen in every situation. This expresses a reverent attitude towards the divine source of Al-Abbas leadership. The Euphrates has spoken, you are the river. This is just to show the uh, ability to give life to all. This is the ability of Al-Abbas just like uh, life-giving, just like the river. Emotional language, Abbas, has made me delirious, more beautiful than a vision. This conveys the speaker's intense admiration and almost ecstatic response to Abbas. Oh, paradise of feelings. You have spoken to the people. This romanticizes Abbas as a source of a profound emotional, emotional and spiritual connections. So, these are just the opening lines of the uh, poem. When we get uh, co going uh, on uh, in the uh, whole poem, we uh, find that this poem is very emotional, and this comes in accordance with my colleague's uh, paper, which emphasizes the emotional effects of the uh, speech that used by the leaders. So the poet himself uses the emotional effects on the people just to keep their attention to the leaders, to the models that he wants them to, f to follow. So this aspect is very important. And I find this is uh, the best example that we want to uh, shed light on throughout our academic works. Why? Because as my dear colleagues, Dr. Uh, Haider said, that in the age of formula and numbers, we need evidences just to say that our prophet, our fo uh, the followers of our prophets and Ahl al-Bayt as the whole is the best example to follow. And I think this is the uh, cause behind holding such a conferences. Thanks a lot. Thank you so much.